No nations. If you wanted to sum up a slogan that was the exact opposite of what Donald Trump is about, then perhaps that would be it. About two and a half miles of downtown uh, Washington have been closed off around uh, the Capitol building and Congress. So police will have sealed off that area, preventing those protesters being able to get through to the inauguration ceremony. Officials did say ahead of the event that they had organized uh, or had catered for around a hundred protest groups and they were finding it difficult to do that, finding them areas where they could protest. Whether this is an official one of those protests, an official protest, we cannot say. This is Greg, do you still have my signal? Okay, cool. All right, thanks. Bye. Despite mass protests, however, this is also a moment for many Americans to celebrate and hundreds of thousands of Donald Trump supporters have made their way to Washington for this inauguration. It, that's how clearly divisive Donald Trump is. He has people who absolutely love what he has to say, but love him or loathe him. Um, what is clear is this is a momentous day for the United States and for the world, and what we're seeing is um, a historic day. It is a cliche, but it, it's very true. This is perhaps what the authorities were scared of. You're seeing live pictures here from Washington. Obviously, not everyone has come to welcome and bless the inauguration of uh, Donald Trump. Uh, we're not exactly sure where in the capital this is taking place, but it looks like it is well away from the center, which is uh, heavily uh, fenced off for the... Uh, inauguration ceremony itself but clearly we have now the beginnings of clashes between some groups of protesters and the security forces and uh, uh, what we saw obviously was an attack on um, I'm not sure which building it was uh, just there but um, some damage being caused oh, my eyes are just bad It'll pass. I couldn't see for a minute 